So this is Martina and she is our common raccoon and she is going to help us have a look at some of the myths that surround her amazing species. Hi, my name is Shona and I'm part of the small mammal team here at Paradise Wildlife Park. Raccoons are commonly known as trash pandas. Now the main reason for this is because they are known for raiding through people's dustbins and this is because they need places to find a little bit more food and as human dustbins are usually open it is a lot easier for them to find. Now the panda part of that is actually because they have dark markings across their eyes, very similar to a giant panda. They are also a very similar size to the red panda. When raccoons find their food, a lot of the time they do go and wash it. Now there are actually many reasons for this. A lot of the time their food is found on the floor, so they like to wash all of the dirt off it. The mechanoreceptors in their paws are giving them precise information about what they're about to eat, so it's telling them what shape, size it is and if it is moving around or not. Now the reason they actually have these in their paws is because many, many years ago they had to stick their paws into dark, murky water and this would help them find their food without even having to look at it or smell for it as well. Now they're usually active most around March to November and this is actually because they go into a torpor season over winter so they don't fully hibernate but they do get a little bit more sleepy where they'll fill up on food and make sure they're very stocked up and they will sleep for the most of winter. The raccoon is actually an omnivore species and this does mean that they eat pretty much anything and this can be from smaller mammals to birds, eggs, shells or even shellfish as well. They do come across odd fruits and vegetables which they will happily eat too but the main part they do enjoy most is the meaty stuff. Raccoons are very important to the ecosystem. Now the main reason for this is because they would naturally eat smaller mammals and birds and this does actually keep the population down of these animals. Martina is one of my absolute favourites here at the zoo and the same for most of us too. And I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about the species and hope you all love her as much as we do.